Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about moonology. Hi, my name is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman. I'm an intuitive psychic medium here in the Sugarland area. That's just outside of Houston. When I was a little girl, I fell in love with our moon, and ever since, I have been energetically drawn to moon energy. I have studied moonology for quite a while, plus I enjoy teaching others about the different energies of each moon phase, then combining that energy with our current moon sign, and you will come away with a great understanding of how both these energies will combine to influence each of us in unusual ways. If you like my content, please subscribe, like, and share. That's right, we are talking about our first new moon in 2023. Can you tell? So we are talking about our first new moon and our new moons are all about new beginnings and new starts, which is kind of makes it even more fun and exciting to have a new moon in the new year. And it's the first one in January. I'm calming down. I really am. I really am. So new beginnings, new starts, new kind of um, things coming forward, things kind of like amping up, things that are ready to kind of begin in a new year. And I know for a lot of people, it's one of those, it's kind of like, we've also got that Aquarius energy involved in this, which is kind of like that rebellious, like, I want my freedom. I want to do something different. So why not start your new year differently? Why not start your new year kind of breaking old habits, changing new things, kind of what is it that you really want to change? What is it that you really want to bring into your 2023 year? What is it that you really desire? Because that's what's really important. Um, our emotions are going to be in fly, flying around with this um, Aquarius energy. This is going to be like a strong, strong desire to get like emotional freedom. Kind of like I want to get out. I want to do something I want to do something like, oh my gosh, so much different than I've done before. So let's talk about starting that new year differently. What does that new year start for you? What is it normally and how would you like to make some changes? Because a lot of times if you don't make some changes now, you're going to end up in September, October, November of 2023 and going, I haven't changed anything. This is the same year as before. No, 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 no. Let's change our 2023 year. Change it for the better. And that can add kind of like, what is it my emotions want? What is the freedom that they're kind of like stretching out to get? What is it? Um, and where would you like to go and get this? Because a lot of times, um, and if you join me for my celestial meditation at the beginning of January, 2023, um, I often do a meditation during this time frame of kind of like, what is it I would like to accomplish in this year? And think about standing on December 31st, 2023, and what are the things that I would like to say, I accomplished this, I did this, I did this, I did this, and I did it differently. I did it my own way, or I did it in some other way that didn't deal with the normal stuff or kind of like, what is it that I would like to say? I did this. Oh my gosh, I did this. What would you like to call everybody about December 31st, 2023 and go, oh my gosh, I had the best year and I accomplished so many things that I couldn't even believe that I could do, but I've done it. So kind of what is that energy for you? What is that, oh my gosh, energy that you would like to have on December 31st? 2023, what would you like to say? I did it. I corrected this. I fixed this. I changed this. I d did this differently. Those are the things that you really want to think about now. What are the things that you really want to change right now so you have a whole different 2023 year instead of like, it's just a carbon copy of the year before or the year before that or 10 years ago? No, 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 no. Let's make some amazing changes. Let's make some new insights into all of this. And let's have some new starts, some kind of some new things that you haven't dealt with in the past, kind of some things that you would really like to bring around in your life. Maybe it's um, bringing in a new love. Maybe it's starting a new business. Maybe it's starting something completely different, changing careers, going back to school, whatever that uh, that is for you, make sure you take care of it. Let's do some angel cards. Um, 
and kind of bring in some amazing energy with this. I got a bunch of them popping out. They're kind of like falling out of my hands. So this is progressions and this is all about the journeys, the journey of what do you want to accomplish during this 2023 year? What are the things that you really want to say? I accomplished this in my 2023 journey. Um, this is um, the Ascendant, and this is all about the entrance. We're right at the beginning. Even though like we're a couple of weeks in, we're still at the beginning of 2023, and everything is changeable and fixable and moldable, and there's so many possibilities. What is it that you want to change and modify for you? This is Pluto, and we're at that rebirth, because this is rebirth. What is it that you're ready to rebirth in you? What are the changes that you're going like, I don't like this about me, or I don't like this about whatever's happening, and I'm choosing to make some changes. What are the changes that you're willing to make right now? transits. This is all about the climate. This is the climate. Everybody is making um, new journeys or kind of um, kind of things that are not the norm. Everybody's making some new kind of changes in themselves. So why not you? Why not make some different changes? What is it in you that you're ready to start change or do differently? Um, this is Mercury and this is about the messages. These are messages from your angels and guides going, hey, wake up, do it different, don't have the same year, don't have the same blah, 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 blah year, and this one is calling me, as I said, already set them down, and I wasn't going to do any more, and this one is calling my name, this is the 12th house, and this is all about the introspection, change you, don't change for anybody else, don't modify, don't change one thing for anybody else in your world, but you, what are you willing to change? What are you willing to do different? What are you willing to let go of? What are you willing to move into? And I guarantee you fear is going like, ah, no, don't do this. Do it anyway. Make small changes. Make small steps towards it if it's really, really scary. But if it's not, run at it. Run at it with full force, full energy, and go, go, go. Make a different year for you. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon.